Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about DMX settings for streaming ACN on version 17 plus. The DMX settings window allows you to set how DMX is routed out of the console through the DMX ports, ARTnet, or streaming ACN. The lines fixtures are patched to may have more than one output, as well as more than one protocol being used for the output at the same time. If DMX settings are wiped at the start of a new show, outputs A through H will default to lines 1 through 8, depending on the outputs of the console, and all ARTnet and streaming ACN are not assigned. Streaming ACN is a multicast protocol. This, in basic terms, means that a pool is created, and whichever nodes want to listen, jump into the pool, and then we'll see the packets for the universe it requires. Streaming ACN, or Streaming Architectural Control Network, can support up to 63,999 universes. However, you get about 200 on a gigabit network before it becomes laggy. Streaming ACN also allows you to change priorities for the devices, which can be useful in an environment like a festival where the front of house console is in Ableites and the guest desks are different manufacturers or all Ableites. Rather than having to spend time disconnecting the DMX or network cables from one desk to another and then get the desk output, you can connect them using a streaming ACN as a protocol and change the priority. For example, if the main FOH desk was being used and the other desk wasn't, the priority for the FOH desk could be set to 200 and for the guest console at 100 and the nodes would listen to the one set to higher priority, in that case 200. Multiple outputs can be assigned per line. For assigning outputs, see our video on assigning streaming ACN outputs. Link will be in the description. Changing our settings for streaming ACN, we click on the gear icon in the DMX settings window. With DMX output, we turn on or off DMX for this protocol. So we turn off streaming ACN as a whole. Merge priority, a value between 0 and 200, where the higher numbers have priority. This allows the node to choose which console to, look, to follow, where multiple consoles are transmitting. Block RDM, disables RDM traffic for this protocol. When disabled, there will be no RDM information or fixtures using this protocol. Loopback DMX, whether to allow DMX input where DMX originated from, this device or system, the default is to block receiving your own DMX. Synchronization address, changes the universe address the synchronization is performed over. Say this is zero will disable the synchronization. Normally, this can be set to any universe, but in systems with multiple streaming ACN streams, you may wish to choose a universe that does not conflict with other devices. This eliminates issues such as image tearing and out of sync strobes. Uh, within arrays of LED fixtures across multiple universes. Loopback pseudo interface 1, uh, 127.0.0.1. Send streaming ACN to the loopback adapter uh, used for software running on the same machine, such as full version of Capture. See our video on Capture on the same PC. Link will be in the description. Ethernet XXXX. Select whether you want this protocol outputting on this Ethernet adapter. If there are multiple adapters in the system, you can select more than one, and identical information can be sent out on each one. Let's have a look at that. Here I am on version 17 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. On my desk, I also have a uh, node hooked up as well as a DMX tester and a quartz console with the priority currently set to 99. But if you want to go ahead and hit our system button or even disk on a full console, then go to DMX settings on our soft keys. And then we're going to streaming ACN here. If we scroll over a little bit and go ahead and click on that gear icon, you now see our streaming ACN settings. Again, the DMX output, we can turn streaming ACN on or off as a whole. The merge priority, again, we just have multiple consoles connected to our network, and they can all be transmitting at the same time, but the node will listen to the one with the highest priority. So currently I have a quartz on the desk, again, with its priority set to 99. So if I bring up our uh, view here with our DMX tester, as well as, as Titan here, we see that I currently just have uh, those couple of dimmers in there. And if I was to change our priority here from... Uh, 100 to anything lower than 99, which is what the quartz is currently set at. So let's take it to oh, 10. We can see that the shape I'm running on the quartz has all of our DMX uh, doing a dimmer chase across all 512 channels. But if I change our priority back here, back to 100, we can see that the quartz is no longer has control, and we're back to having control on our console here. Again, if I set it to if I set it to be the same as the quartz 99, we can see that. Uh, it kind of meshes together. This would be very uh, bad and would look uh, probably have fixtures twitching on stage and whatnot, so it's highly recommended that you do not set their merge priority to be the same. You want it to at least be uh, one higher or one lower, depending on uh, which console you're trying to have take control. So we set ours back to here, back to 100, and hit Enter. We can see that it takes only taking data from our console. Again, this could be a mix of consoles. could be all Ableites consoles. could be... Avalites, MA, Camsys, Hog, any combination of any of them, uh, and the orange priority would be able to use that. In the block RDM, we can turn RDM off as a whole for this protocol. On the loopback DMX, 
basically make it so we can hear our own stream ECN on our uh, own computer. This can be used for uh, software such as capture or uh, for triggers. A synchronization address, again, that's to have uh, do a synchronization across multiple universes of fixtures. The loopback, that's to send streaming ACN to our internal network. Uh, so normally streaming ACN is only sent outside, so our internal, it wouldn't listen. So if we wanted something like capture or another visualizer, again, we may need to turn this on. Or Ethernet XXXX, we can send uh, streaming ACN out on both ports, which is the default, only on port two, only on port one, or on either port, or again, back to both ports. So that has been the Shumi and settings in version 17 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook, get in once US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.